Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mastering. Hope you're having a very great day. In this video, I'm uh, exploring my favorite mastering compression techniques and settings. Please bear in mind that each setting needs tweaking depending on the style of music you are working on. But it uh, provides you a suitable starting point for further exploration. So before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmastering.com and receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. And now, let's go to the video. <laughs> Soft mastering compression technique. The first setting is the defining starting point for mastering compression and the technique that uh, provides a pleasing dynamic control to almost any music you pass through it. The two crucial ingredients are a low ratio and a low threshold. The compressor spends most of its time in gain reduction, only applying just a few dB of dynamic control and aiming for around from 0.5 to 2 dB on your gain or reduction meter. With this uh, <clears throat> soft compression, you won't achieve a huge amount of reduction in the dynamic range, but you, your master will sound musical and uh, have uh, room to breathe. So using a um, low ratio and threshold setting allows you to control the body of the track in an effective way. So now let's A-B this track with this type of compression and the uh, setting off and on. Smooth uh, mastering compression technique. The smooth mastering compression technique is an ad adaptation of the basic soft mastering compression. The trick here is to make use of a compressor with a wide knee response. Good example would be a good VCA compressor such as um, SSL Series G, uh, which has a unique super wide knee on its uh, 2 to 1 ratio. You should aim for the compressor spending plenty of time in gain reduction, applying small amounts of dynamic control and only hitting about 3-4 dB of gain reduction when the music has some real energy behind it. The key point is that you start to create some distinction between lighter ratio in the verse and the pusher ratio in the chorus. Smooth uh, compression makes a uh, defining use of a wide knee setting. And uh, now let's AB this uh, track with this type of compression and uh, setting off and on. Glue mastering compression technique. In truth, the previous two examples, uh, soft compression and smooth compression, could all be used as forms of uh, glue, using a compressor to help uh, mix uh, gel together. The 
entity of glue is just a byproduct of gain control, making the trick sound like a whole entity rather than the, its individual parts. In this case, I use Vertigo VSC3 as a glue compressor. I set the slowest attack time 40 milliseconds, and I set fast release time 100 milliseconds. I set a 2 to 1 ratio, and then I pull the threshold down until I start hearing things come together. So when I pull the threshold down, it brings the kick drum closer to the bass line. And what that does is that it gives the sound more presence because everything is more upfront because all the peaks are closer together. And because of, of the slow attack time and uh, fast release time and the low ratio, I do not crush these peaks at all. I just bring everything closer together. And all the instruments in the mix are being subjected to the same gain reduction. In effect, the movements of the compressor in and out of gain reduction gives the instruments a common identity. And now let's AB this uh, track with this type of compression and setting off and on. <laughs> 